All right, boys. I should have saw this coming, but I just had my first actual lipo fire. So I took the car somewhere, um, pulled the throttle on my Dumbo, and I heard it drag the fan down. It was at full charge. And mind you, I had drove it right here just before I left, and I think that was on a storage charge. So I got to the place I was going, charged it up, uh, to 8.4 volts. It, it wasn't even on high voltage. I've never ran that battery at high voltage. Um, so yeah, I booked it in here before I left. It worked just fine. And took it to the place I was going. Um, booked throttle a couple times. I heard it drag the fan down. I was like, you know what? I'll sort this out at home. So I get it home. Um, I set it down right there. Uh, pulled throttle again. I uh, did it a couple times. It was dragging the fan down even more, and then I just saw, I just heard a pop, and it smoked. So I freaked out, picked the car up, charged out here, and threw it outside. Car was in the yard. I got the battery out, put it out in the road. Um, here is that battery now. It did not catch fire, miraculously, but um, severe case damage. It still feels a bit warm. Um, yeah, it's cracked pretty bad. Uh, it was separating on the case right here. So uh, the only reason I'm keeping it in here is it did not actually explode. Um, so eventually, uh, we'll dispose of it properly, but, um, for now, yeah, car is down again, but I am not planning to go with another ProTech 5000, um, I am planning to go with the I'm planning to go with the Exalt 5200. It's 135C, 5200 milliamp. Uh, it's shorter and it weighs less. This is 20 millimeters tall at 176 grams, whereas the ProTech was 25 millimeters tall at 207 grams. So, car's down for now. Uh, it's sitting right here. I had it pulled in the castle link or plugged in. Uh, I got the data log here. Uh, I'll put all this up real quick. Oh, it's reverse. Dummy. So, if this means anything to any of you, then let me know in the comments. Um, but for now, yeah, car's done.